Greetings, saints, and grace to you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Billy D. Welcome to today's Moments in Ministry. First, let's get a little perspective on the size of Jerusalem. The Bible says, The city is laid out as a square. Its length is as great as its breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, its length, breadth, and height are equal. That's from Revelation 21 and 16. The city is perfectly square. Its perimeter is 12,000 furlongs or 1,500 miles. It is 370 miles long on each side. That equals more than 140,000 square miles, a little bigger than the state of New Mexico. If the city were to be crowded, and each saved person given only 100 square feet of ground space, there would be room for 39 billion people in the city, which is as many times larger than the present population of the world. Many statistics believe that if all the people who have ever lived were saved, there would be plenty of room for them in the city. The scriptures make clear, however, that only a few will be saved, so there will be more than enough room in the great city. When Jesus told his disciples that he would be leaving them, they were troubled. To comfort them, Christ explained that he would be going to his father's house where there were many rooms. In addition, he assured them that he was going to prepare a place for each of them. It reminds me of the kids going to visit their grandparents on a big farm out in the country. The old home is large and has plenty of space for everyone. Our Heavenly Father has plenty of room in his place for each of his children. The creator of the universe is not limited on space. His love knows no bounds. Here's a slice of today's bread of heaven from John 14, 2 and 3. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So until we come this way again, may God bless you and keep you is my prayer.